to stab me now with that big knife? It's gonna bother me, too, for a long time. I know it will. How much is it gonna bother you? I take that knife away and stick it in your neck. Could you really do that? Yeah, I really could. But I'd rather not. So I, I think I read a draft of this seven or eight years ago when Scott was first working on it. Sure. And what's amazing is how true to that original vision he has kept it. He, he really, I think, fought the idea of making a bigger, crazy action film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really love that you guys did a yeah. Scudder novel faithfully. That yeah, this is a thanks, man. Yeah, we, we were at, uh, Scott particularly worked very, very hard at that, just to keep peeling it back, you know? Um, we actually had two other characters in the film, Ruth Wilson and uh, actually my son played my son in it, but, but when Scott put the film together, these these relationships just didn't do so, anything to the story, you know, it just took you out of the story, so they were, he kept peeling it back to its bare essentials. You it's know? amazing because you don't, see, sometimes when that happens you can see the remnants or the pieces. Yes, I know what you mean, can, yeah. It's very clean. The it's way clean, it's built. yeah, and there's a lovely build in it, you know, to the conclusion. And, uh, well, the first time they tried to get Scudder on film, I thought they kind of missed the point of who he is, which is that, that sort of sadness about the world that he works in. Yeah. And I, I think you guys get it right, and I love that it is the era for Scudder where he's entered the 12-step world. Yes. Because I think that is, it's, it's fascinating to watch him wrestle with yeah. staying true to that path. Exactly. In yep. that, that, that world, which basically tempts you constantly I not know, to. I know, and that's, I know. And I was saying earlier to some of your other colleagues that it's a, it's a daily challenge for this guy, you know, how he's going to get through the next 24 hours, you know. And by taking on this horrendous case, it's kind of getting him out of himself, actually, in a way, you know. But uh, the more he thinks he's getting away from himself, the more it's actually honing in to what happened to him in his past, you know. He's it's it's one of those phrases that, that I hear people use sometimes that they don't make them like this anymore, but they really mm. don't. Yeah. Um, and it seems like uh, it seems like studios are afraid to make small, character-driven, intimate movies. Yes. Um, is it harder to find that kind of material at this point? Very and much so. It is. So when you read that, is yeah. that immediately you know that this is meaty and there's something you absolutely, can do? absolutely, and it's been made for, let's say, a more mature audience. You know. Um, and look, I understand why Hollywood makes the films to do, the studios do, you know, for a certain demographic, from like 15 to 24 or something like that, that age group. But, uh, but you know, what about everybody over the age of 40, you know, up to their 80s, you know? There's a big audience out there. What's well, been interesting watching you reinvent yourself several times over the course of your career. It feels like there was a Liam Neeson that I, I knew in the 80s as an actor. It seems like there's a Liam Neeson from the 90s. This, this action Liam Neeson uh, that kind of happened after Taken where suddenly people saw you in that light has, I, I think, given you now a chance to pursue or lend your, your box office clout now to some of these films like this to get it sure. made. Uh -huh. is, that, is that something that you see as an advantage in being in a movie like Taken that does the business it does is then you can pursue things you love? Absolutely. I mean, you know, the success of Taken was, was a total surprise to all of us involved in it, you know? I thought it was a good, fast-paced little European thriller that Fox took and did this amazing sell job on, you know, and it became successful. And then Hollywood started sending me, the studio started sending me more action-oriented scripts, you know, which were great to do, they were terrific. Um, so yeah, if my name been attached to this helped in any way, then it was great. It, was, uh, it certainly was a, it wasn't a labor, but it was a, a, a labor of love, you know. The sun, won't you come? For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.